Hi and welcome eFootball 2024 enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the gaming universe with the ultimate patch for the version 3.2 of eFootball, set to revolutionize your gaming experience. With this patch, get ready to unlock all the teams in the game and sport the kits of your dreams for every team. But that's not all, we have a multitude of surprises in store for you, including new features and total immersion in the virtual football world. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to install this groundbreaking patch that goes beyond simple updates. From new scoreboards to hyper-realistic faces, along with a plethora of other improvements, your gaming experience is about to reach new heights. Stay with us to discover how to breathe new life into eFootball 2024. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on upcoming tips and enhancements for your favorite game. Let's embark on a journey into the heart of virtual football excellence. First start by extracting the Team Unlocker 3.2 file. Copy the following two files into the eFootball 2024 folder. In my case, it is in the Steam folder. Please, before copying the files, make sure to create a backup of the original files to be able to return to the original game when you want to play online. After that, you can pass the patch files. Please, before copying the files, make sure to create a backup of the original files to be able to return to the original game when you want to play online. After that, you can pass the patch files. Now let's install the kits mod, extract rare file, launch the patch and install it in the same folder where you put the content of the patch. Now copy the created files to the game folder. Please before copying the files, make sure to create a backup of the original files to be able to return to the original game when you want to play online.
start the game. Let's go. Yeah. So choose your teams. You must first do it from training mode. After choosing your teams, exit training mode and go to trial match. To remove the patch, simply delete the files you added at the beginning and replace them with the ones you placed in the backup folder.